yoga drills class and I'm looking forward to spending this little time with you. I actually tried to record a new video today, but YouTube wasn't uploading it, so we're just gonna do a live instead. That sounds pretty cool, yes? Okay, let's, uh, let's come over to the mat. And again, I'm Kino, and welcome to this 10-minute yoga drills class, perfect for when you wanna squeeze a little bit of strength work into your day. Come to a comfortable seated position, and let's get started. Hands in prayer, deep breath in. As you exhale, rest your hands down, tune into your breath, tune into your body, tune into your mind, and let's begin. Activating the muscles of the pelvic floor, a long deep breath in and as you exhale let's open the eyes good inhale let's bring arms out to a t-shape we got five breaths one two good job three keep working four almost there five exhale let's set it down and we're gonna come over Switching directions a little bit, and we're gonna start off in a seated position but with the knees pointed forward, pointing the toes for a moment, and extend the arms. Good. So we're firing up the core right from the beginning. I want you to draw the navel in, and we'll just hold for five. One, two, steady breath, three, four, almost there, five. Now, separate the feet to hips width apart, Take the hands on the ground and let's just rotate the tailbone under as you lie down. This is one of my favorite abdominal movements to really help stabilize the core. So it's one of the things I do almost every day. From constructive rest position, we're gonna spiral the knees in towards each other, rotate the tailbone under, and then inhale, lift the chest up. So we're just not, maybe not the whole chest, yes, but at least the shoulders. Stay for five, one, two, activate the glutes, three, Four, almost there, five. Let's go side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and 10. Palms point upwards and cup the fingers and lift. One, two, three, four, and five, exhale down and separate the knees. Good, let's do it again. Draw the knees in towards each other, rotate the tailbone under, and inhale, lift. Hold for five. One, two, three, four, and five. One, side to side. Two, so we're just reaching the hand down toward the ankles. Four, five, if it hurts the neck, you can hold on to your head. Seven, eight, nine one more we got ten back to the center cup the hands lift one two three don't give up four and five exhale down i was burning in the center of the body and that burning sensation is very very good it means we're working exactly where we need to be working okay next i want you to draw both knees into your chest and give yourself a little squeeze in and just release for a moment. Then, let's check the flexibility. So I want you to extend your legs upwards. And this is Vipurita Karani, sort of a 90 degree angle of the forward fold. Next, extend the arms forward and lift. Hold for five. One, we're checking our flexibility here. Two, if you cannot straighten the legs, you can bend them a little bit. Three, if it hurts the neck, you can hold on to the head. And you can also, again, test your flexibility and see how much forward fold you have. Four and five. Inhale, head down. Now, we're going to add alternating legs, okay? So, we're going to come up and down. Up and alternate. Up and up and down, all right? <laughs> Let's try that again. So I want us to go down in between just for, to get started. So we do inhale, lift your head up, touch the knee. Exhale, legs together. Inhale, head up to the right knee, left leg goes down. Legs together, arms up. All right? Reach back to the same position. Reach 
back to the same position. Reach, back to the same position. Reach and squeeze, same position. Reach and squeeze, same position. Reach and squeeze, same position. Three more. Reach and squeeze, same position. Reach and squeeze, back to the neutral. Reach and squeeze, back to the neutral. Reach and squeeze, back to the neutral. Last set. Up and hold. Up and hold. Good. Bend the knees. Constructive rest position for a moment. Roll your head to one side, head to the other side. And then holding on to the back of the neck, let's inhale, roll up. Did you make it up? Nice. Okay, good. Let's cross the feet underneath you. And then we're going to head on back to a good plank pose. So let's say hi to plank. We got one, two, three, four, almost there, five. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Big breath in. Exhale, downward facing. Let's go for five breaths. One, two, three, four, and five. Good job. Let's sink the knees down and let's move that right knee out to the side and let's come on up to side plank. And side plank is a great posture. We can really feel the internal obliques working. We'll hold for five. One, two, Three, four, almost there, five, good. Now, let's take the elbow down and we reach down. You can kind of find a slightly different position with the knees now pressed into each other. And then inhale, lift, exhale down. Inhale, lift the knee and the arm, exhale down. Inhale, lift the knee and the arm, exhale down. Lift the knee and the arm, Exhale down, all the way up, exhale down. So we're kind of making a star, all the way down. Let's do three more, all the way up and down. Two more, up and down. Let's go for the last one, hold. Two, three, four, and five. Knees together, roll it forward. Give me the dolphin plank. Two, three, four, knees down. Hands back, inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. We better do the other side. So I'll just swing around so I can keep in the same position, so same view. All right, so we got our side plank, which we can lift. Two, three, if you wanna do that knee down just to get in good position. Four, almost there, five. Now we change the knees and we change the hands so we kinda of come on down and then we're going to lift and down. We take it up and down. Lift all the way up, set it down. Lift, open the knee, use the hip, set it down. We got five more. Up, set it down. Lift like we're making a star, set it down. Lift, give me a big lift, set it down. Give me a big lift, 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 lift. Set it down two more times. Lift, 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 set it down. Last one, and down. Oh, that's some serious burning. <laughs> All right, inhale, let's take plank again. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing, big breath. Exhale, and downward facing. Nice. Cross your feet. Let's come to seated, and let's grab those yoga blocks. And we're almost done, okay? So this is a quick class. Now, we're gonna do just a little bit of Navasana work. So inhale, lift the legs, and we've got different variations. You could bend the knees to start. Let's do that one. Two, three, four, five. Cross, hands on the blocks. Inhale, lift, exhale down. Again, one, two, three, don't give up, four, five. Cross. The hips go up. If you can't lift your feet, at least the hips, but try. Exhale down. Last one. One, two, the navel is in. Three, point your feet, use the legs. Four, five, cross. Inhale, lift, hold for five. One, two, three, four, 
and five, exhale down. Nice, okay, cross your feet. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing, big breath in. Downward facing, all the way out. Cross your feet, come on down to seated. Close your eyes for a few breaths. We're gonna end in seated position. If you need to take a longer rest, you're always welcome to. Close the eyes. Return to your center. Feel your breath, feel your body, feel your mind. Reflect on the challenges, how you face the challenges, whether you leave with inspiration or a feeling of accomplishment. Then gently bring your hands together, deep breath in. As you exhale, softly open the eyes. Thanks so much for joining me for this short yoga drills class, getting right into the core. I love working on the foundational elements that have strength and flexibility that help you build a deep connection between your body and mind and ultimately improve in your yoga practice and ultimately also in your life. So keep practicing, keep practicing, keep practicing, and I'll see you next time. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of the Kino Yoga YouTube channel community, and I look forward to seeing you on the mat. Have a beautiful day. Bye.